Well, guys, uh, our next plot destination is uh, Saronia. But before that, let me check out a couple villages now that we have access to the whole world. Is there something over here? Oh wait, that's just a water temple. Uh, down south is Coldor's Mansion. Oh boy, maybe I should have explored around first. I don't remember exactly where the villages are. There's where we have to use the fangs. Here is Solonia. What's up here? Oh, there's a village. Alright, we can't land on uh, land yet. Not with this airship. Very nice airship theme. Duster. Any items? We had two items. Uh, probably somewhere in the grass. No? Oh, there we go. There's one. Earthen drums. Oh! Is that infinite use? Causes an earthquake. I doubt that's infinite use, but uh, might as well use it anyway. I don't have many instances in the future where... Uh, another earth drum. So those are the two items. Right? They are the two items, yeah. So pretty much done what we can over here. So I think most of the equipment here is only for geomancers and bards. But if my mages can use the armor, that would be very beneficial. Feather hat, they cannot use. This is very disappointing. Bard vest, they cannot use. Gaia vest, they cannot use! <coughs> equipment selection. Being unable to use equipment is really gonna be a problem. Alright, then I can use the rune bracers. 5,000 bucks each. Man, this shit is expensive. I do have plenty of stuff that I can sell. Any magic? I don't think so. <clears throat> and from what I remember, the inn here is ridiculously expensive. 220 bucks. Screw you. What else can we buy? I do want to stock up on Phoenix Downs. Sure, why not? And high potions? Everything else seems fine. Alright, let's get out of here. This was Duster. There's one more village we can visit. Sandworms. Have we seen these guys before? Five hits for... Oh, Monk doing pretty decent damage. Hey, hey! Don't go after the Monk. Warrior Soul uh, is our best DPS right now. I think these are the only two villagers we can visit right now. <coughs> Later on, we'll get access to Doga's village. Shh. I keep forgetting we can't land uh, near the village. Later on, we'll get access to Doga's village as well as the Dark Village, whatever that was called. So this is Replete. Replito! <laughs> One chest and four items. Presumably in the grass as well. Wait, there's one in the tree. Total shell. That would be for protect. How do I enter there? Another total shell. Elixir. Already found three out of four items. What's down here? Hello. Okay, he just mentions uh, Triangle Island. Uh, 
That's one of the chests. I think that was the only chest over here, isn't it? Yeah, so one more item somewhere in... Auto access there. Okay, there we go. <laughs> they show all the secret passageways. I'm a Golgan. Ancient power of life for the world, kind of called the Wrath of Light. Yeah, yeah, whatever. Plot. Okay, got all the items. Oh, there's some magic here? But it would only be for summoners or evokers. Right? Okay, blah, 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 blah. Okay, not interested. I think uh, next magic we can only get from uh, Toka's village. No equipment shops? Alright. How uh, expensive is the inn over here? 200 bucks, no thanks. An item selection? Oh, we get auto shroom. I do want to pick up some auto shrooms. 2000 bucks! I'll just pick up one for now. Just in case I run out of teleport spell charges. It's uh, really convenient that they have replacements for magic. Okay, let's just head on to Sor uh, Soronia then. Stop dilly-dallying around. Sadly, didn't really get any equipment for anyone. So the Garuda fight, I, I don't know how difficult that's gonna be. Alright, from what I remember, we we get lots of goodies in Seronia, in the different parts of Seronia. Northeastern Seronia has the Dragon's Tower. Only one item. Maybe the Dragon's Tower is considered a dungeon. We'll go there later. I'm gonna see if we can use any of the equipment. None of the shops will be open right now. Okay, nothing out here, I guess. I would like to use the inn if I could. Yeah, 11 chests and 2 items. Okay, maybe this is where the dragon stand is. Items would be in the water and all of those items would be for dragoons. So I guess we might as well do this. Why are you blocking the way? Okay, he's not blocking the way anymore. Might as well go and save Algus. These guys should be uh, pretty easy to take on. Gold Knights are there? Yeah. <laughs> I've already seen them. Oh crap. Could really fail to unblind him. Hmm, monk damage still not that good. Especially when it's compared to the warrior's damage. When the black mage is doing as much damage as you. Oh no, they killed him. That was really unfortunate. I think the warriors ha warrior has decent DPS. Now, not only do we need to heal, we need a rarification. Unless I'm forced to use a phoenix down. Okay, what is this place? Locked? No, it's not locked. Aha! Okay, good. The revi revive pool was uh, close by.
Got the wind spear and what else? Where's the second item? Maybe it's that old man who gives it to us. What's up here? Alright, this this is a free fat chocobo. And there should be no there's the armor shop. Armor shop is locked. All but one shops are uh, closed. And even that shop only sells some spears. So not really interested. This guy doesn't give us anything! Oh, maybe it's that old man. How do I get back in the water? Oh no, he's gonna block the way. Oh god damn it! Phew! Dragon mail. Is there an outside chance that the warrior can use that? Hell no. Let's get out of here. It said 11 chests, but I think that's not the part. It should be here. This one, oh my god, this one is expensive as well. But I don't really have an option now. I, sh I should have just used that 200 buck and. Okay, we got our items. Anything over here? Zero, okay. So let's go visit the Dragon Tower. It said zero out of one items. What item do we get here? Oh, there's a magic off, oh, because it's not open. Is there an old man over here who gives us something? Hey, give me something! All of these shops are closed. Yep. Okay, maybe... Where, where the hell was the dragon tower? I don't know what item they're talking about, honestly. Oh, there we go! Elixir in a tree! I did not know about that. Alright, let's, let's go in. Now this one should say 12 chests. I see. Okay, okay, so it's not wrong. There are encounters here, but I am well rested. Wow, these guys are using shade. White Mage still doing decent damage with the light stuff. Lots of experience. Phoenix down, Dragon Helm, pretty sure he can't use it. Yep. Dragon Mail, Thunder Spear, all of this is for the Dragoon. Are we done with this place? Yeah, 12 out of 12 chests. Let's get out. Okay, suddenly it looks like the monk is doing decent damage with bare fists. So I guess for the rest of the game, we'll just have him uh, like that.
Uh, Dragon Spire done. I think those 11 chests uh, that uh, Northwestern, sorry, Southwestern Seronia was mentioning would be after the Garuda fight once everything opens up. So I guess we have uh, nothing better to do now. Let's just go in. Okay, any preparation? Not much. Wonder how difficult this is gonna be. My main complaint is that we have to watch this uh, cutscene dialogue sequence every time for every attempt. But uh, what I seem to remember from my first playthrough of the Pixel Remaster is uh, Garuda was just extremely nerfed because on the NES he can do over 500 damage to everyone with his thunder attack. You are almost mandated to use four dragoons. I just hope they jump before uh, Garuda can attack. Gilga Mets! <laughs> okay, what can we use here? Let's just use our strongest stuff, I suppose. Six hundred damage, not bad. Only two hundred damage from physical attacks. The six hundred damage was from a bizarre gar. Okay, here comes the lightning. Whoa! Okay, it still hurts a lot. Is he just gonna spam lightning? Oh shit, he is gonna just spam lightning. People are gonna die. How do I survive this? Shit didn't work. So we have to out heal over 400 damage in some cases. Magic defense is the way to go, but unfortunately, our equipment sucks. Black Mage is doing decent damage even with Bizarre Ra. I got 6 Bizarre Ra's and only 2 Cure Ra's. But maybe we can uh, keep ourselves healed up with High Potions. Last Cure Ra. And I don't think we are anywhere near defeating him. How much will an arrow do? This guy's supposed to be weak to win. 468, not bad, not bad. White Mage is down. Okay, what can I possibly do against uh, this kind of a barrage?
Physical attackers, not very useful. Do we have any thunder protection? Armor made from tough shells, it says, but doesn't really mention if uh, it gives us any protection. What about the description for fire armor? Armor resistant to ice, armor resistant to flame. Okay, so maybe the description will mention if uh, it is resistant to a particular element. You want thunder resistance if possible, but I don't think I have anything right now. So, black mage. Uh, not black mage. The monk and warrior are pretty much useless. What can we do with our mages? Uh, not having the feather hats really hurting. Not being able to equip the feather hats. That would have given us a substantial amount of magic defense. What about shields? Okay, he <laughs> can only use a leather gel. <laughs> shields are a waste. How about bows and arrows for the for the warrior? The problem is he's just not going to last long enough, is he? Maybe I should uh, make make them potion bots, but keeping themselves healed up is such a waste of time. The White Mage does have a pretty decent mode of attack with uh, arrow, but if I'm not, but he's he's my only multi-target healer, which means I'll have to sacrifice that. Of course, uh, if nothing works, the answer is to grind either job levels or levels or both. I'm trying to see if I can get away without having to do that. I don't think. I don't think the monk has any recourse whatsoever. This guy might. Let's see how much damage we can get from bows and arrows. For how long uh, he lasts. Wooden arrow, holy arrow, iron arrow. So iron arrows are our best bet. Shell armor just in case. Might as well go with the shell helm as well. Just in case it protects against uh, thunder. Although I seriously doubt it. And you can boost ice. Wish there was a thunder rod. But I don't know when I can buy rods. Can we get double boosted? No we can't. We have only one right now. Ice rod, fire rod, scholar rod, scholar hat, rune bracers, and you. Light stuff, ice stuff. Any increase in magic? No? So we'll see how long we can last with uh, just pure DPS. I'll use uh, Cura for as long as it lasts, and then I'll switch to Aero. And then we'll, we'll keep healing with, uh, with items if we can. Right, let's try this again. Pretty sure Garuda would have over 10,000 HP. I was told that he, he would be a wall. About sleep, that'd be that'd be very convenient, wouldn't it? Eight hits for one hundred damage. Okay, never mind. 
Never mind the bows and arrows. Arrow seems to be doing the best. What's the use of keeping himself alive? Let's just have the monk and uh, warrior keep the other guy, the mages alive. We're not getting any damage from them. Sleep didn't work. Uh, I... No. We don't care about blindness. Let's just go with sheer damage. So the shell armor hasn't made any difference whatsoever. Oh, hold on a minute. Uh, we can throw total shells, can't we? But can we multi targeted? Let's see, let's see. Let's just use total shells and see how, how it goes. I have exactly two. Cost a protective magic spell. But this would just be protect. I wonder if protect uh, doubles for shell as well. No, still taking that much damage. I don't think... Uh, this is making a difference. Wait, 184. Maybe it does make a difference. Or maybe that was just uh, RNG. Two hundred and ten. I do feel like total shells are working. And how the hell did you do 900 damage with the Blizzard? 1000 damage! Hmm. Maybe total shells do work. Let's throw them uh, immediately. And after that, uh, hopefully the White Mage can uh, keep them alive. In fact, we're getting more damage uh, out of the White Mage than from the Black Mage. I mean, the Black Mage will run out of uh, Blizzard pretty quickly. So let's try this. I wonder if the potency of the total shell also depends on uh, who's using it. I see why he was doing uh, more damage with the Blizzard because of the Ice Rod. Wait, that was a physical attack? Okay, so maybe he doesn't always spam, but there is a small chance of physical attack. Might as well use the Parker Swine to get whatever damage we can out of uh, the Monk. Where's Tranquil? Oh, that is Paralyzed. Silence, Earth Drum. Don't really care. Keep going with Blizzaga. Actually, no. Hold on. Hold on. Yeah, we're going to switch to the rod. 
ice rod and the fire rod later on that's a pretty decent boost Sixteen hits and only 400 damage. God damn it. Okay, getting a bit lucky here. Not gonna lie. Why is he only using physical attacks? Maybe this is uh, a bit of luck that we needed. But I doubt we were anywhere near close enough to kill this guy in any of the previous attempts. Here comes the lightning. Come on, come on, do this before the next lightning. Good. So at least the matrix are back up. What? Okay, there's a lot of variation in the damage. Oh man, that was really unlucky. Welp, I don't really have an answer right now. So, yeah, just gonna grind a bit. Uh, I'll give this some more attempts off stream. And, uh,. If it succeeds, great, we'll uh, attempt this again next time. Later guys!